Welcome back. For our top international story this hour, we look to Venezuela, where President Nicolas Maduro made a major announcement in a bid to address the country's struggling economy and high rates of inflation. On Monday, Maduro announced the adoption of the Petro, a digital currency tied to Venezuela's massive oil and mineral reserves. I have incorporated into the Petro white paper in the calculation of the formula for the establishment of its value the support in gold, diamonds, iron, and aluminum, so our Petro was born armored with oil wealth and mining wealth. The Petro is supported by the concept that unlike other cryptocurrencies, it has inherent value if backed by Venezuela's natural resources. In other words, it won't need to be mined the same way Bitcoin is, for example. Maduro's goal in introducing the Petro is to sideline so-called money mafias in the country, which the state blames for driving inflation through the use of black market currency and resource trading. Venezuelans will now be allowed to make purchases with the Petro rather than the dollar, and Venezuelan banks will use the digital currency as a unit of account. Maduro called the Petro's adoption date, quote, historic. The six most powerful exchanges in the world are here, and we will participate today in all the usability, tradeability, and monetary work of the Petro. So Venezuela, 1 October 2018, historical date, born with its own technology, with its own effort, in a free and independent country, is the digital oil currency, the Petro. Welcome, Petro. With the Petro in question, we're joined now by in question producer Kay Pritzker. So, Kay, cryptocurrencies are confusing for a lot of people to understand, myself included. Can you break down for viewers how exactly the Petro is designed to work and why it's unique? Yeah, so uh, Petro is a cryptocurrency like any other. It's a digital means of payment and it uses the Ethereum blockchain technology, which means that it's a digital ledger. So, if I give you five Petro, everyone can see the fact that. I gave you five Petro, so it's hard to manipulate. But what's different about Petro is that it's backed by real world assets. So things like Bitcoin or the US dollar, like they derive their value from the fact that people believe they have value, but not because anything in the real world with value exists to back it. Petro is backed by oil, uh, gold, iron, aluminum, things with tangible value. And as I mentioned, the Venezuelan government believes the Petro will help, quote, neutralize money mafias in the country. What exactly are these mafias and why are they blamed for the country's economic woes? Yeah, so they're essentially uh, Colombian crime syndicates uh, that conduct these uh, these illegal currency exchanges on the Colombian border. So if you go to Venezuela and you go to a legal currency exchange, you get the, the regular you know, exchange rate. But if you go to one of these black market dealers, they'll give you up to six times the amount of Bolivar for the same amount of US dollars. So essentially, this is a form of economic warfare because they're flooding the Venezuelan market with Bolivar. And uh, anyone that understands inflation knows that uh, it's a monetary phenomenon. So if you increase the, the currency supply, Prices necessarily have to increase as well because there's more currency chasing the same amount of goods. So that's uh, what's largely been responsible for the hyperinflation in Venezuela. And instead we hear President Trump blame things like Venezuela's socialism for that problem. And, and that point is so often left out that there is a capitalist system that still exists and is able to be manipulated in this way. Last month Maduro announced a major currency reform and issued in fact a new Bolivar, that's the Venezuelan currency. It will now be tied to the Petro how does this represent a, glowing, a growing global trend away from the dollar? Yeah, so uh, the dollar is kind of on its last legs. Um, in order to understand this, you need to understand the international finance system, which uh, is based on the global dollar system uh, as of today, which means that every single international uh, exchange is denominated in dollars. So if Iran sells oil to Japan, it's not conducted in real or yen, it's conducted in US dollars, which means that every single country needs to have a constant supply of US dollars on hand to uh, function internationally. Uh, but countries like Venezuela, countries like Iran are often targeted by the United States for geopolitical reasons. They're excluded from the international finance system. Um, Iran was kicked out of SWIFT, for example, which is the means of payment. A uh, system controlled by the United States, and you know Venezuela has been sanctioned. Uh, it's been uh, you know U.S. companies are forbidden from conducting business with Venezuela, which makes it incredibly hard for countries that are enemies of the United States to get the dollars they need to to conduct transactions. So what the Petro is doing is basically is uh, providing Venezuela an alternative currency to use to pay people with 
to uh, get the things it needs. And this is a global trend, actually. It's not just Venezuela. Uh, you see countries like Russia, China, India are all stockpiling gold, which has been the historic uh, means of international payment for the, the large part of human history. And uh, you know, the, the reversion to gold, uh, even with Venezuela, is characteristic of this, this larger move that people don't want um, US dollars because you know, the United States has this $21.5 trillion debt. A lot of households are, you know, suffering. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't think that the U.S. Value, U.S. dollar will retain value in the future. And people are definitely concerned that the U.S. uses the dollar as a weapon. So it seems like times are changing, and people are going to want to move away from that. In question, producer Kay Pritzker. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Hey, YouTube. Thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.